What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and today we're going to take a look again at the upcoming 2018 Year of the Dog event, and see what kinds of skins we might be getting with it. While I already did a video talking about potential Chinese historical and cultural skins, in this video I'm going to be branching out into some potentially brand new skin themes that Blizzard could be introducing this time around, as well as some possible new event game modes. If you saw my video about how Blizzard manages to add new flair to repeated events, then you'll know that there's a pretty good chance that our most immediate expectations when it comes to new skins could be satisfyingly wrong. But regardless, let's start off by taking a look at a theme that I've had tons of people mention on my other videos, and that's dogs. Yes, given that it is the year of the dog, it would certainly be the best opportunity to introduce any dog-related skins. Even though for last year's Year of the Rooster event, we didn't get much rooster-related content, dogs I think are a bit easier to design content around. So let's look at what it might be. Before I get into it though, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss any of my other Overwatch content. And now, let's look at some skins. When it comes to dog-themed skins, certain heroes stand out as being more viable than others. For example, given that Roadhog has a strong animal motif, and previously has gotten a number of different animal mask skins, it would make sense to give him one with a dog mask as well. Also, Diva is a possibility given her cute motif, but since she just got the black cat skin, I kinda doubt that she'll be getting another legendary animal skin again so soon. This then leads us to perhaps the most obvious dog skin hero, and that's Orisa. While I agree that she already has a very animalistic appearance, I can't help but fear what a 7 foot tall, hexapodal, robotic dog might actually look like. I'm sure it'll be cute and good looking if Blizzard actually makes it, but it does also seem like a possibility for a truly horrific abomination to be added. But hey, that's just my opinion, and in all honesty, given the strong East Asian association with the real world Lunar New Year, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave her some kind of Chinese dragon dog skin specifically since I think that would be both fitting and look pretty cool. Another skin theme Blizzard might go with would be to look at other holidays that fall around the same time as the Lunar New Year. Given that last year's event was strongly dominated by East Asian references, Blizzard might decide to introduce a few new concepts from other nationalities and cultures in order to offer some more variety. For example, what if we considered a holiday like Valentine's Day? which this year falls only a couple days off from the Lunar New Year itself. Perhaps the most obvious skin idea here would be Cupid Hanzo, which might not fit his character personality that well, but I think could easily be a fan favorite. Mercy also would be an exceptionally good candidate with regards to Valentine's Day. While it seems likely that she'll get a skin for her parasol spray from last year, especially that she just recently got an emote which is also called parasol, Alternatively, I could see her getting a skin representing either Venus or Aphrodite, given that they are the Roman and Greek goddesses of beauty and love. Aphrodite's appearance in the game Smite could also give us a clue as to what this skin would look like for Mercy in Overwatch. Now, moving on to a very different event theme, given that it's celebrating the Lunar New Year, what if it featured some kind of moon theme? I will say that this one is a bit of a stretch, but this could be represented in a number of different ways. Being a sci-fi fan, I would love to see some kind of Lunar Ops based skins, possibly building off of what we already know regarding Winston's backstory and the Horizon Lunar Colony. Alternatively though, we might get something more cultural, such as skins representing certain moon based deities. We already got a skin for May last year called Chang'e, which is the Chinese moon goddess, but they could easily do something similar to this for different characters of different nationalities. Again, the idea of the moon being this year's event theme might be stretching it a bit, but I think there's a lot of potential there. And before I move on to my new game mode speculations, there were just a couple more Chinese themed skins, which I didn't mention in my previous video, that could also be added. First there is Ho Yi for Hanzo, once again with artwork courtesy of the game Smite. Ho Yi in Chinese mythology was actually the husband of Chang Yi, and is known for having shot down nine of the ten suns which once scorched the earth. Given this lore, the skin might feature fire elements, which could look pretty cool. And moving on to the other new Chinese based skin idea, we have Panda Roadhog. As I said before regarding the animal motif, I could easily see Blizzard giving him some kind of buff panda skin, which would be quite charming and also fit his personality pretty well. 
Now let's take a look at what Blizzard might do for the Year of the Dog event's special game mode. Given that last year it introduced Capture the Flag, which then became a year-round arcade mode, it doesn't seem likely that it'll just have that same mode again. Unless, of course, they use this opportunity to give the mode a total rework. As odd as it might sound, I actually consider this to be one of the more likely possibilities for Year of the Dog. While Capture the Flag was a fun, fresh new game mode at the time of its introduction, its flaw quickly began to stand out. As unreasonable as it may sound, this wouldn't actually be the first time Blizzard has reworked an arcade game mode as part of a limited time event. Last year's anniversary event introduced new versions of 3v3 elimination in the form of 3v3 and 6v6 lockout elimination. These new modes fixed many of the issues people had with the original mode, so while I unfortunately don't have any reworked suggestions to offer when it comes to fixing Capture the Flag, I would not be surprised to see Blizzard do something like this for the event. Alternatively though, it's entirely possible that we get something brand new. One idea which would even fit with it being Year of the Dog, would be to introduce a D.Va dogfight mode. Each side would feature somewhere between three and six D.Va players on a map with little to no actual solid ground aside from wherever each team starts. On top of that, her boost ability would have no cooldown and could be used indefinitely, thus allowing for epic mid-air combat between the two teams. They could even add some kind of collectible power-ups to offer more variety and strategy. While this might sound a bit hectic and extreme, I think it would be an awesome new mode to try out, and it would be quite different from any game modes we've gotten before. As we've seen with this past year's Winter Wonderland event, Blizzard is certainly open to trying out experimental game modes, especially if they're only part of a limited time event. Aside from this, they could always introduce another PvE mode, since those are without a doubt some of the most popular modes we've gotten in the past. I wouldn't consider it particularly likely though, given that two PvE events a year seem to be a good balance, but as always, it's certainly possible. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't seen my other videos talking about possible Year of the Dog skins or when the event is expected to start, then be sure to check them out through the cards on screen. Also, be sure to leave your own ideas for event skins and game modes in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and turn on notifications to keep up with all my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.